A good day to all of you, my dear friends. May God bless you abundantly and make of all of you who believe in Him true blessings. May you become the blessing and the fountain, whether the fountain of living water or of the light of the Holy Spirit. In fact, talking about the light of the Holy Spirit, did you know that when a person has the Holy Spirit, they have the light of God within themselves? Did you know that? Did you know that when a person, they are in faith and they live by faith, they have peace. In other words, in other words, the peace that the world wants to have is only possible when the Holy Spirit comes. And only, and that's the only way. Because the true peace, the peace of spirit, the peace within one soul, the peace in the conscience is only possible when a person has the spirit of peace, which is the Holy Spirit. And for you to confirm this, you can read there Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. And if you read with attention and meditate and use your intelligence to truly take possession of the truth, you will meditate in this word and you will conclude it's true. It is impossible for a person to have peace from above, the peace that comes from God, without the Spirit of God, without the Spirit of peace, without the Spirit from God's altar. Because the Scripture says, Therefore, therefore, having been, having been justified by faith, because when we are in faith, we are justified, meaning righteous before God, worthy to receive something from God. That's the truth. And I know that for many it is impossible to actually understand this. But for you who know the Word of God, you who are religious, you have the knowledge of what it means what is, what is written? Having been justified by faith. By faith. So faith, belief, assurance, con the, the confident assurance that God is with us makes us to feel this peace. It makes us to feel literally in peace. But then it's to really feel. You feel at peace. You are able to touch it. You live by with this peace. And once you have this peace, peace with God, so then you have you are at peace within yourself, regardless of others. Regardless if people like you or not, or believe or do not. That doesn't make a difference. Because it is important, or what is what matters is that you have this peace that comes from the Spirit of Peace, which is the Holy Spirit. Ah, but I was baptized with the Holy Spirit. I speak in tongues very well, right? You were baptized with the Holy Spirit, so you must have peace within you. If you don't have peace, if you are not at peace, then it means that the Spirit inside of you is not the Spirit of God is not the spirit of peace. Because faith, the true faith that bases upon the word of God, that's why faith is intelligent. Faith has nothing to do with emotion because faith is based upon a promise and the promise that came from God's mouth. So, therefore, having been justified, you know that to be justified, you know the meaning of being justified. Let's say you are taken to a judge and then you are you are there not with peace because the judge is going to define 
your destination. And if he says, no, you are guilty, you're going to end up going to jail. And if he is a evil judge, so then he is going to judge according to his will, not according to the law. So then when you go before the judge, I have been before judges many times, numerous times. And thanks be to God, before the judges, I was at peace. And I had peace within me. And above all, I had peace with God. So this peace remains with us. It stays inside of us. It walks with us. And you know why? Because we have this certainty. We have this certainty, absolute certainty, that God is with us and that He did not abandon us. So I can speak this to you and I can teach this to you because I lived it. I had days, days and nights in storm. Yes, my boat was almost turning over because inside of this boat was the Lord Jesus. That's why it did not turn, it did not turn over. And, of course, once He is inside of our boat, meaning within us, occupying our mind, our thoughts, and occupying our faith, He is occupying all that we have. So then we are secure, even, even among the storm, even within the storm, right? You know, remember when Jesus was sleeping in the boat and then came a storm upon the boat and in the sea. The disciples, they were in tremor, desperate, and woke him up because they were, they were about to sink. It was during the day, and yet Jesus called them men of small faith. In other words, don't you know that I'm here? Can't you see that I'm here? If, I, if the boat sinks, I'll sink as well. <laughs> and do you think that Jesus would sink? When you, have, when you have within you, and when we have Jesus inside of us, we have His Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, in reality, is Jesus inside of us. So when we have His Spirit in us, what takes place? We are always firm. We have peace. And this faith, this conviction, this Trust and certainty makes us to be at peace. To be at peace. Peace within us and above all with God. Not with the world. No peace with this world. We don't have peace with the world. We don't have peace with no one if not with ourselves and above all with God. Obviously, those who are of faith and who are in faith, they have peace. Everyone in peace, in one spirit, with one heart. But whoever is in sin, they don't have peace. They don't have the spirit of peace. Simply because the spirit of sin does not let them, does not allow them to live right. And that's the secret in life. So, dear friend, do you want the spirit of peace? You must seek. You have to pay the price. You have to pay the price and sacrifice. You have to put all your life on the altar so that from the altar you may receive the spirit of peace. May God bless all of you. And until later, 